Hello, welcome back to the Sisu studio here at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. My name's Pandora Pandemonium. <laughs> All right, so we're going to head over to track two very shortly for um, Team Belgium versus Team Netherlands. Uh, and this could be a really good matchup for, the, for these teams. On track one now we've got Team Canada versus Team Spain. Uh, Team Canada on 70 points and Team Spain on four. I don't know if you can hear, hear that noise. There's just 16 and a half minutes of gameplay left on the clock there. We're gonna quickly throw straight across to our track two announcers um, to get you started for Team Belgium versus Team Netherlands. Okay, so apparently we're going to get half the bracket. All right, we are live here once again from the Men's Rugby World Cup in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. We are at the Arcadia Rec Center on the Sisu track. I am Raucous Ron, and once again, I am with the legendary King Crazy from <laughs> Yorkshire, Sheffield, England. Thank you very much, sir. And of course, Raucous, you are from Kansas City, Missouri, is that right? That is correct. So, hello to everybody in Sheffield and Kansas and everywhere in the world. Tweet in, let us know. Hashtag MRDWC. Tweet in, let us know where you are. Absolutely. We want those shout outs from all the places, and the more interesting, the better. We are getting ready to watch uh, Belgium versus the Netherlands. Belgium with a record in this tournament so far of one and two. The Netherlands zero and three in their brackets. They met earlier this year, King Crazy, which was quite interesting that the two already have faced each other. That was a win for Belgium by 188 points. So a pretty significant margin of victory for Belgium in that one. And then we also have some information about how this game might turn out based on uh, triangulation from previous games here. Uh, both of these teams played Puerto Rico and Belgium won by 19 and the Netherlands had a 65 point loss. Right. So not huge margins of difference there, but uh, uh, certainly I would say that Belgium is favored in this one, but Netherlands have a shot. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, looking at the, the previous game as well, as well as the game so far this weekend, you would say that Belgium are the favourites. They are short on numbers. Both neither team has a full 14. Netherlands have 13, and Belgium had 12, but now have 11. Yeah, good stuff. Well, let's take you through the lineups here uh, for Belgium. We've got number one, Flash Bandicoot, 1030 Track Vader, 17 Silver Lion, number two, Owe Iway. Uh, 221 Adriana Skyroller, 62 Murdoch, 666 Tracknar Lo uh, Lavrock, 667 uh, six, Glaciator, 82 Boo, 88 Trick or Threat, 99 Sofet. Okay, and we'll go over the Team Netherlands roster at the end of this jam. Uh, but first up, we have number 52, that is Upiler jamming for Netherlands, up against number 17, Silver Lying. So. Belgium are in the black, Netherlands in the very familiar orange. That's a strong four wall at the back holding you pilot, but he's found a gap round the outside, but not legally. Track cut has been called, so we have our first roller derby athletics power jam. Uh, taking a while to figure it out too, now stepping off the track along with one of his blockers. And that's Captain Borderline, he makes his way to the box. So we have Silver Lion as lead jammer. Coming in now, trying to pick up those first points. And freed by a nice block from Flash Bandicoot. That's uh, so a full five points. Just coming in now, three blockers, a little bit of offense being delivered there. That looks like Track Vader delivering the offense. Now Nicholas... making his way through on the inside, picking up those five points. Yeah, despite the best efforts of Nicholas Rage, five more for Belgium. But I will just ask somebody who's watching this now, if you're tweeting in, can somebody just tweet in quickly, can you see the live feed? We can't at the minute, our screen has frozen, so just let us know very quickly if you would please. Air Miles, look, where's his star gone? It's in his hand. 
Aha, but good for the initial pass to kind of bring that jam to a conclusion. Well, um, Netherlands you know, roster, let me go through that very okay. quickly. So we have 0 3, the Fairy Godfather, 1 3 3 7, Slapzak, 22, Crystal Maiden, 3 1 4 1, Mastermind, 3 3 3, Half Evil, 37, Lone Star, 43, Halogen, 52, Upila, 585, Johnny B. Rude, 666, six, Nocturnal Damage, 747, seven, Captain Borderline, 83, Nicholas Rage, and 96, Anita. Who have we got jamming, Ron? We've got Trick or Threat for Belgium and Anita for Netherlands. And that's why Raucous Ron is the star that he is. Ah. Too kind. Uh, Lee Jammer once more goes to Trick or Threat. But he's not going to have much space. Anita is out for the Netherlands. And he's calling up to the fans. He's getting some love from the Scottish fans there. I think the Scottish fans have probably been on the drink already. Nice jump over number 43. Trick or, trick or threat. To trick or threat the deciding he's going to try and jump back to the Belgium on that one. So we're looking at trying to see the score. Currently 21 to 0. So unfortunately, as I was saying, at the moment we can't see a scoreboard clearly. We can just see an NSO um, score trackers board, so we can see the scores, not the times. And we'll start off with Track Vader for Belgium. And that's 83, Nicholas Rage in his first jam. And it's also, we'll have the first roll of Derby Athletics, power jam of this game. Nicholas Rage picks up a track cut. So that will put us a no pass, no penalty for Sofé. So that means this jam will go the full two minutes. Oh, lovely little move there. Oh, big exit hit from 585, Johnny B. Rude. But Johnny B. Rude was Johnny B. Bad on that one. He's going to the box for a forearms penalty. And Zed LaFonda says the live feed is all goof. Brilliant, thank you very much, Zed LaFonda. So, that's yes, okay, as long as you guys can see it, doesn't matter if we can't. We can see the track. Five more points picked up there by Sofé. Nicholas Rage is out of the box, star in hand. Comes in a lot of speed, trying to find the gap, but that, the black wall is holding strong. Oh, what a jump that was. Has he got it? He's got four. Wow, and even hit uh, in the air by Captain Borderline. So nice job to maintain that. Right, we have, it looks like a star pass was successfully completed, I believe to nocturnal damage, but he's also then picked up the penalty. So we have our second Roller Derby Athletics power jam of this jam. And on that last pass, uh, Sofet with a knockdown drive through. That was fantastic. So let's take it down. Of course, this jam will go for two minutes. Here we go. What have we got coming on here? Ah, Sofet's just trying to find his way through at the front of the pack. And nocturnal damage, taking a leisurely stroll back on track. Trying to shake off a bruise or two, maybe. Ah, the Spa Town Roller Girls. Uh, a yo, big shout out to King Crazy. You've been spotted. Fantastic. And we'd love to hear your <laughs> tweets in at MRDWC on the Twitter. That's a hashtag MRDWC. Tell us what you're liking about this and uh, shout outs to your favorite players. Where are, you, where are you in the world? So, currently have the score 50 points to zero for Belgium over the Netherlands. And we have, that is number 37, that is Lone Star. He's jamming up against Silver Lion. Modi player block on number two away. Lee Jammer for Silver Lion once again. Oh, we've got an injury. Mm. That's Indriana Skyroller who's just taken, it looks like a blow to the face. That's why we have the medics slowly. on board. Mm -hmm. So, uh, We'd like to thank all of our sponsors, but specifically right now, the 2016 Men's Roller Derby World Cup is sanctioned and insured by Roller Sports Canada, providing insurance and support for all Canadian roller sports. Visit us at www.rollersports.ca or on Facebook. So also, I would like to thank DerbyShop.nl because Roller Derby saved your soul, but wrecks all your gear. 
The Derby shop is online as well as a brick and mortar shop in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. I'm sure they're watching right now. So you can visit them or go online to www.thederbyshop.nl and is known for the best advice and technical support when it comes to your roller derby career. Gear, sorry. And if you ever visit, bring cookies. <laughs> very good, very good. So we'd like to remind you that the clock doesn't stop for injuries or no. timeouts. So we have a straight up 30 minutes of, of uh, game here, regardless of the situation on the track. So, However, thankfully, Indiana Skywalker yes. is back up and just holding a towel to his face on the bench at the minute. I was going to say, uh, what have we got at the minute? No, we still are in an official timeout. Not anymore, we're not. Players back to the track. Netherlands looking to uh, pick up a, uh, a win here in this one. And the uh, Belgium looking to pick up their second win and go two for two. So we have number 52, that is Uplier. He's up against Trickle Threat. And the first lead jammer for Netherlands, it is you, Pyler. Netherlands fans go crazy in the stands here. One thing we've seen a lot this weekend is the underdogs getting a lot of love as you, Pyler, puts on the first points on the board. He's got four trickle threat stops him from making it five. Mm, threatening to draw him all the way back into the pack. Great move there. Yeah, very, very smart defensive jamming there by trickle threat. Not only protected his point, but protected his blockers point stop you pile putting up anymore. Absolutely. And on this jam we'll see Sofe taking on Anita once again. A little bit of confusion from the Belgian bench as who's to going on. We've got a three on two pack in favour of the Netherlands in the orange. It's now going to come a three on one advantage as Black 666 was sent to the box. And as a result, it's Lee Jammer once again. It is Anita. But he's got company, so Faye's out after him. Nice little bit of offense. Driven to the inside and forced to call it off. There's going to be the check on the points. Yep. Four point, three points? Four points. Four points. The Men's Roller Derby World Cup would like to acknowledge the contributions of Alberta Sports Connection, which helped to make this event possible. So here we go. We have 83, Nicholas Rage versus number 17, Silver Lion. There we go. Nicholas Rage, who skates for Tynham Fair, Newcastle in England. So someone I've seen quite a few times. But unfortunately for him, Silver Lion's that little bit quicker. And Nicholas Ray just to call back. He's taken out on the inside and drawn back by Track Vader. Ah, oh, Silver Lion gets low, but couldn't quite ride the rail. Can see who that was. That might have been Lone Star with a drawback. Nope, it wasn't Lone Star. My apologies with Captain Borderline. In the meantime, Silver Lining, not, he's not bothered what's going on. He's just picking up points. I think we've got the star stash again from Nicholas Rage, but he's not down. 667, Glaciator will draw him back. Silver Lion racking up the points on this jam. Nice move along the outside and now to the inside, sweeping by. Like the way that Silver Lion gets those hips low and turns backwards, drops underneath. Take advantage of what asset you have. The size, Abs you know. Yeah, absolutely, Rockus. That's something that we've seen not just from Silver Lion, but some of the other smaller jammers this weekend. Uh, people like El Pibe for Argentina yes. is one that comes to mind when you think of that sort of style. Mm -hmm. Who's He's up this time? Yes. Who've we got, Rockus? This time we've got Slap Sock in his first one. Um, of the game up against trick or threat so slap sock that means uh, sleeping bag and uh, when I asked him what that means he said well n nothing really it just means sleeping bag <laughs> no story behind it so slap sock being held back in the back of the pack meanwhile trick or threat pushing the front end gets that distance needed out of play being called on oh wait a minute three of the blockers for the Netherlands are going to, have to take a seat in the penalty box so 
only one blocker on the track. Slapsock makes his way through. But the damage is done. Quad Skate Shop team of the tournament. Fans, we are letting you choose one of our MVPs. This year's Quad Skate Shop team of the tournament will now include a fan favorite award as chosen by you. So be sure to check out our Facebook page during Saturday's play to vote for your favorites, Quad Skate Shop. Awesome. So we have you, Pilot, and Sofei jamming again. For those of you just joining us, Netherlands are in the orange. So Sofei jamming for Belgium in the all black and already has claimed Lee Gemma. Yep, now out on the initial pass yeah, is Netherlands. Yeah, you pilot is out, but four points, quick hit it and quit it for Belgium. So Belgium looking to win this game to seal third place, which should they get that, we'll see them play tomorrow. In fact, which group is this? It's the blue group. So they will play at 3 p.m. local time. To give you an idea now, if you want to work it out, it's approximately half past two local time here. Uh, Anita just having a quick wave to the announcers there. He's taking this very seriously. Ah, he's getting the fun for That's what it's all about. He's up against Silver Lion. As I was saying, Netherlands will be playing uh, at 3 p.m. or 3.15. So 3 p.m. on the CC track tomorrow. Likely, sorry, Belgium that is, likely against Scotland. Right now it is 72 to 8 in favor of Belgium. And but we have a roller derby athletics power jam. Right you are. As it was a forearms penalty on Silver Lion. Ouch! What a hit that was. That was number 62, Murdoch. I think he almost got away with murder on that one. Mm -hmm. That was sweet. But fair play to Anita. He's straight back up and straight back in the ring to have another swing. Yeah, not quite enough uh, quickness of the feet for not the Netherlands quite. yet. They've got some work to do in that area. But, uh, fighting valiantly nonetheless. Absolutely. And once again, down hard on the floor. That's got to take a toll time and time again. But you need to back up. He's cycling back into the pack. Now he's got the outside. Lee Jammer, the uh, Roller Derby Athletics power. No, sorry. <laughs> Lee Jammer. That's simple. Okay. Just to actually want to point out number 3141 from the Netherlands, who is skating in a kilt. I also want to thank him. He actually came up to us, the announcer crew here on track two, and thanked us for all our work. So very, thank you very much, Mastermind. Very, very gracious gesture, that one. Yes, it is. It's actually, this jam looks like that we have no lead, so this jam will go for two minutes. Oh, no, we do have lead. Sorry, my apologies. Anita does have the lead jam. And finally, Silver Lion completes his initial pass. Anita decides to call off the jam. Well, I've got a couple of shout outs I need to do here for the teams. Um, for Belgium, uh, they would like to dedicate this game to Machu Picchu, who uh, had to fly home because of an emergency um, with the family. So uh, best of luck to Machu Picchu and uh, whatever situation is going on there. And uh, the team dedicated the game to you. We've got Johnny B. Rude stepping up to the line against Trick or Threat. Nice rotation here for Belgium. Been continuing to have success with these jammers, so sticking with them. Netherlands seeming to jump around a bit and explore the field. Johnny B. Rude stuck behind four blockers, or three blockers in the back of the pack zone. Trying to get some side-to-side -side movement. Meanwhile, recycled to the back, but now back in to the mix. Trick or threat. Trick or threat through. Picks up lead jam once again for Belgium. So that's some strong... And we we're going to have a roller derby athletics power jam. There is a track cut has been picked up by the captain, Johnny B. Rude. So that will give trick or threat. Oh, he's happy. Little clap as he comes through there. Five more in the sky. So he comes in now, hand signal so his blockers know what to do. Line inside up, love the little move by Boo. Yeah, Netherlands attempting to put together a wall there, but not quite strong enough glue in the connections between the skaters, easily disrupted by Belgium. Yeah, so I mean that time it was just going into the turn. 
Boo just took the inside line and just opened up the inside where the track sort of comes to the gem to take that inside line. Made it a bit easier. Not that Trickle Threat needs much help. He has proved himself to be a very, very capable jammer this weekend. So driving as he did on the two toe years stops. ago. Sorry. Yes. Driving on the toe stops and pushing up the body of the Netherlands players and then skating underneath over and over again repeatedly. That same trick seeming effective. Trick or threat. Absolutely. We have had the star pass has been completed to 666 nocturnal damage. And he throws the pivot penalty to one sorry, pivot cover, I should say, to one side. But trickle threat saw him coming. All right, and Team Netherlands would like to, uh, they've got an injured skater who had to stay home. That's Untitled Russian, and they would like to thank him for being a great guy and give a shout out. Team Netherlands, Untitled Russian. So, jamming this time for Team Netherlands, we'll have number 52, that is Upila, up against number 99, Sophie. So currently have the scores at 96 plays 15 in favor of Belgium in the black. I would guesstimate that there is about 17 minutes, or sorry, about 12 minutes to go. Maybe uh, you could tell us on the Twitter feed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Air Miles, Sofe with a lovely apex jump there. So it's coming out as a penalty, as whistle's going, Track Vader's going to the box, Sofe's going through the inside for five more. So Sofe and Belgium really looking at building. Oh, I've just seen we're going to have a roller derby athletics power jam. Upiler has picked up a cut track penalty. So, Sofei, who was picking up a lot of points anyway, has just been slowed down a little bit that time by Nicholas Rage. But not nice that. work on the outside, the footwork, the dance. But not oh, that the nice. Track. Yeah, not that nice. Couldn't see it from this angle, but apparently stepped out, and we have a Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam for Netherlands. So, Yupaila comes out on the box. He's got the star. I think he's tucking it behind his shorts at the minute. Literally stashed in his pants. And it's worked. Oh, there we go. Initial pass complete. Better put that on to score some points. Yeah, he's just realized that he's been shouted at by his bench. Sofe is out on the penalty box. He is, of course, on a scoring pass. Oh, that's not going to work. Started the jump from out of bounds. So. But he realized. Mm -hmm. yeah. Went down, took himself back. And now another Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam for Netherlands. A good opportunity to try and do some work here on the offensive end. It says the track cut there was called on Sofé. And, and that's been matched mm -hmm. by Upiner. So that's yep. two penalties each for both jammers on this jam so far. Netherlands got some, some talent out there, but needs some more practice, it appears, you know. So let's have a look. Rockus Rana, have you got anything interesting coming through on the Twitter feed? All right. Well, from the other track, we have a tweet in that says, well done, Team Spain, well fought, but Canada is a formidable opponent, apparently, uh, beating Team Spain over on the other track. Um, ah, tweeted in the score, thank you. <laughs> That's great. So, uh, so Zed, Zed Lafond again. Yeah. Thank um, you for all your work on the, on the Twitter feed. Very entertaining. And helping us out no end. We have Lee Jammer for uh, Silver Lying Air Miles. Has he landed it? Is he going to? He's not sure. Upiler came out of the box at speed. And he decided to play safe. Big, big takedown. Uh, Silver Lying is taken back by, that was Captain Borderline. Nothing borderline about that here. All perfectly legal. Four points picked up by Silver Lying. And quick hand signals with his bench. Yep, keep going. Keep skating, son. Oh, there's a penalty. An out of play block has gone on someone. But Silver Lining's not bothered. He's just put five more points up. Oh, big takedown. Murdoch again. Dropping new player. Nice work on the outside. Staying in bounds for Silver Lying. Continuing the point scoring barrage 
for Belgium, who's now up 124 to 19. And I need to say a big thank you to the wonderful people at Popeye Media who've just come over and fixed our screen so we can now see what you're seeing. So, uh, Uplier's come in, he's going to pick up points. Silverline didn't realize, hasn't called it off. Uplier was taken back a little bit. And, you know, these guys, these are all playing their fourth game this weekend, and it is quite warm and humid in here. Fatigue is playing a part, especially as both teams skating short. No pass, no penalty, four points. Silver Lion calls it off. 8.22 to eight minutes just over to go. 132 plays 19, 22 points on that jam. Yeah, and these teams have been involved in some really hard-hitting uh, defeats to, to stronger teams, so they've taken a beating. In, in, in some ways. This is four games in for them. Ah, we, we have, have a team timeout quad skate shop. Let's go over to our ad. We're going to be testing three helmets today. This simulates a 10 mile an hour impact or a four foot drop. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS Fusion Foam did pass the multiple impact test. Okay, here we are. We are back on the Sisu track. On the Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016 from beautiful Alberta, Canada. And this is, for those of you just joining us, this is Belgium in the black, currently on 132, up against the Netherlands in that also familiar orange uh, on 22. Rolkus Ron, who's got the stars? Uh, we've got Trick or Threat for Belgium and number 37, Lone Star for the Netherlands. Lone Star. Sh sounds like he should be a sheriff in an old western somewhere. Right. Uh, It'll so be trick or threat coming through for picking up, picking up lead jam for Belgium. Well, the bodies hit the floor on turn one as half the skaters went down. Fortunately, they all got back up. We like to see that bit. Trick or threat trying to dance around, just manages to fight his way past Hannah Jean. And we have Star Stash, attempted pass. But Belgium putting together nice walls here, you know. Solid defense against the Netherlands. What I also like is that number two, Iwe, is it just seemed to isolate himself on the pivot to delay the star pass, which is Lone Star has now got through of his own merit. Trickle threat goes down. Not sure if he put a foot out of bounds. Nah, we'll play safe. The S1 Lifer helmet is the best fitting and safest helmet in roller derby. Get a Lifer, be a Lifer, s1helmets.com. Good stuff there. Long time sponsor of roller derby across the world. You see a lot of them being worn by the gentleman out on the track. Absolutely, probably one of the more popular helmet designs. And jamming this time, we have number 80, sorry, 96, that is Anita in the orange, up against 99, Solfei, who's going straight to the box for a back block. We have a Roller Derby Athletics power jam. And also taking a seat, I think that was half evil sitting for Netherlands. Oh, lovely spin move from Anita, and again, and again, but he's got company. But an out of play block called on. That was Trackner Loblock and Lee Jammer for the Netherlands. He's got low, has he kept in? Yes, he has, four points picked up. So we've got quite an empty track at the minute, starting to fill up now as skaters return from the naughty box. Oh, and a crashing hit to the outside. going to crawl back in, recycle back behind the blockers. Uh, Sofe trying the apex jump, just getting caught. Three on two pack in favor of Belgium in the black. Anita trying to get through, Mastermind tried to open the door. Anita took a few hits, decided, yep, that will do it. 145 to 26 with four minutes to go. Be harder, better, faster, stronger with one-on-one -on -one coaching from Derby Life and Chaos Theory. New Derby Life Transformation Challenge starting on August 8th. 
Visit chaostheoryblog.com for more details. So we have Upiler, number 52, up against number 17. He's been very effective today, Silver Lying. Ooh, no, not quite running up the inside line there. This is a track cut penalty on Upiler, so that will put Silver Lying not only as lead jam, but he is on a roller derby athletics power jam. And we've got a race onto the box. We've got three going. Well, that'll make for an easy pass. Right there. Five points picked up. Silver Lion just looking he's having a lazy Friday tea time skate. Mm -hmm. He's got that great lateral movement from outside to inside, really able to outmaneuver these Netherlands blockers. And just in case he was having any trouble there, Trackna Lobblock came in with a lovely bit of offense to open the door. I say Iwe trying this time to do it, manages to stop Slapzak. And again, diving right under the hips of the taller blocker. The U-Pilot is back out. I'm not sure where he's put the star this time. I didn't see it. And, and it looks like the Belgian blockers didn't see him. And u is going into the pack. Silver Lion called it off. I did wonder whether he was going to let it go because he didn't have the star on display so it wouldn't matter he could have gone through that pass and would not have picked up any points so i did wonder if silver lion was just going to let it go but nah play safe call it off that's right well king it appears as though the top seeds in this tournament so far will go undefeated as long as uh, england uh, defeats italy earlier which is not predetermined but uh, those top seeds were usa australia england and canada so, showing very strong performances so far this week. And we are off to the races again with Trick or Threat picking up lead jammer for Belgium. Anita struggling at the back, moving inside, outside, trying to find a gap on the inside. But he's got company there, Flash Bandicoot with the pivot, pivot cover and the takeout. Anita down a little slow getting up, but he does so. Oh, what a hit that is, number 82. Now, Boom. pause, laying on the track. They'll call an injury stoppage on this one. Anita saying, I need a minute here. I'm hoping it's nothing too serious. I'm hoping that he's just winded. Mm -hmm. He did look like he was a little fatigued, and who could blame him after the work he's put in and all these guys have put in this weekend. Just to remind you, of course, that during these 30-minute games, the clock does not stop. Uh, for injury, doesn't stop for anything. We are on a, running a very tight schedule, so we don't have time to play with, unfortunately. Uh, in terms of the knockout games, they start this evening in the consolation bracket at 7 o'clock Calgary, Alberta time. It will see the fourth place teams of each group will play. Seven o'clock, the fourth place team in the red group, which looks likely to be Ireland, will play the fourth place team in this group, the blue group, which will be Puerto Rico. And on this track, the Sisu track at quarter past, we'll see the fourth place team in the green group, which is, I believe, Germany or likely to be Germany. And they will go up against the fourth place team in the orange group which is probably going to be either Italy or Sweden, Rockers. Yes, that is correct. And here it appears as though, uh, well, obviously, Belgium will go on to a record of 2-2 two and two with a victory over the Netherlands and over uh, Puerto Rico. So 2-2, two and, two and, the, and uh, the Netherlands will be 0-4 in this first round, but with a, uh, another shot and potentially at some uh, competition that's a little more evenly placed. Uh, they'll drop into a lower-seated uh, bracket um, as we move forward. So, as unfortunately, due to the injury, the clock has expired. So that is your final score. It will see Belgium take the win, confirmed third place in the group uh, with 170. Netherlands will finish fifth with 30 points. So, try and give you an idea of when each team is likely to play next and probably who they are playing. So in the blue group, the third place team will play on the nerd track that's the other track at three o'clock tomorrow against what's most likely to be scotland 
As for Netherlands, they will play at one o'clock tomorrow against Ninja Pan. Oh, that's and that like is a fun also one. on the nerd track. Very good. Well, it's been a pleasure to call with you once again. Absolutely. The raucous, the pleasure was all mine, sir. And also thank you to our glamorous producer, Gogo -Go Books. So oh, just to give you a quick heads up, just so you know what's coming up next on this track, as for, thankfully Anita is back on his feet. Next on this track, we'll see Italy versus England on the NERD, the nerd track, the nerd skate shops track that will see USA v Finland. That starts in about 12 minutes time and 15 minutes after that, Italy, England will start on this track. Also, just a quick heads up, uh, five o'clock on the nerd track. If you haven't seen it before, there is the junior showcase. And that was a nice touch there. The Belgian team holding up the shirt of number 20, Machu Picchu, who due to a family issue has had to fly back early. So that's just wrapped that up. Raucous Ron. Pleasure as always, sir. Thank you. Nerd Roller Skates is your dedicated quad roller skate shop in Calgary, Alberta. Being a nerd is about being really excited and really passionate about a really specific thing. And the thing that we are really excited and passionate about is roller skates. Nerd Roller Skates. Official skate shop, Men's Roller Derby World Cup 2016. For people who roll. I am your fortress on the front line of sport. Engineered to be stronger than the attack. I defy convention by protecting more with less. Helping you breathe easier, hydrate faster, speak more clearly. I am Sisu. And I fend for you.
Okay, I love to play roller derby because I 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 play roller derby because weil ich uh, die Action auf dem Spielfeld mag. I'm competitive, I like energy, I like power and I like the speed. Und das ich einfach how like to do a rose rat. Es ist ein fett bizarre sport. Que j'aime me donner à fond sur le track et ça me rend heureuse. Perché non posso farne a meno. Love at first sight. I love developing my skills and I love developing new strategies. It's taking me to many new places that I would not have normally gone. Also, for the yeah, so it's my bonus card. So, very competitive. It is the most unique opportunity to go past your boundaries and try anything and everything that you thought you couldn't do and prove to yourself that you can. Voila, la vida more you can do than be you could ask for. When you love to roll and you need the best gear you can get, come to our brick and mortar shop in Amsterdam. Or visit the website at www.thederbyshop.nl. We have it all. The Derby Shop. Because roller derby saved your soul, but wrecks all your gear. At Roller Derby Athletics, we take the guesswork out of off-skate training so you can focus on being fierce. We help you transform your game without a lot of time or equipment. With five training programs plus all-star memberships, there's an option to suit every athlete. And we train skaters worldwide with high-quality video instruction and online support. At Roller Derby Athletics, we empower you to be safe, strong, and unstoppable. Want to see for yourself? Sign up today for our free Basics Builder program. Hi folks, Skull Eagle here. Have you had a chance to take a look at the new Bonk Quad Star Skate? The boots are ultra lightweight with no break-in period and are great for skaters with skinnier ankles. They also have a 100% Australian full grain leather outer and a completely heat moldable hand laid fiberglass base. Get that premium performance without the premium price tag. Boom. Come over to the Bonk booth right now and check out this rad new skate. That's all, yeah. Uh, such a vibrant thing. Vibrant thing, a vibrant thing.